for today's review, we're going to take a look at the Q Timex Reissue LCA. So let's get right into it. Starting off for price, MSRP is $149 and that's what you should expect to pay on the Timex website. And what that includes is this very simple but very handsome looking watch case that opens up and you can see the Q Timex LCA in all of its glory. As far as dimensions go across the case we're looking at about 32 to 33 millimeters if you can see right there and then as far as thickness goes very slim design coming in just under nine millimeters as far as weight goes we are looking at 71 grams or just under two and a half ounces um, so very reasonable on the wrist here is the wrist shot for those of you guys who have larger wrists like myself I have a seven and a half to eight inch wrist I think it still looks more than reasonable and more than fitting on my wrist I very much like how it looks I was a little concerned because I thought that it was going to be too small however now that I've got it on I very much like how it looks and how it feels and let's go ahead and throw in some footage of a 360 just so you get a better idea of what we are dealing with here very simple but in my opinion that is really the main selling point of this watch as far as functions and features go starting off with the main display or main dial the pictures online show a very strong white background however as you can see on the screen here it's just your typical LCD screen um, right here at the top you've got your uh, LCA or liquid crystal analog display and you've got a very fun second hand animation and your hour hand and minute hand which correlates with the time display down here on your digital readout and then right here on the other side you've got different menu options so you can see dual T alarm timer and stopwatch so as you cycle through different menus the there will be a little marker indicating which mode you're in and then underneath that you've got your date and then day of the week so let's go ahead and cycle through the different menu options keep in mind your analog display right here is going to give you different types of information based on which mode you're in so starting off with dual time as indicated by the little marker next to dual time your analog readout is going to show you a second time zone so for me I have it set to the west coast and then my digital readout set to local time going on to the next mode is alarm so your analog display is going to show you what time you have set for the alarm and for timer your analog display is going to show you how many minutes on the countdown timer so this is my start button so right now you can see I have one minute on the timer so I'll hit the start button and then it'll just count down the seconds very cool kind of uh, quirky animation here I very much do like how it looks hit it again to stop and then hit that button to reset and then next is your stopwatch pretty simple right there and then now you're in adjust mode so this is where you would adjust your time and date and back to main time for water resistance we're looking at only 30 meters so you're not going to be wearing this for any serious dives but I don't really think that's the intended purpose of this watch so as far as everyday use normal just washing your hands type stuff I think it'll do just fine we also have a backlight however I will warn you it is absolutely atrocious you can barely see it here um, on the screen you can see what it looks like in a dark room so if you're ever curious about what the day of the week is or the date at night you know have no worries but as far as time goes I think they really screwed up on this one again just my opinion I know that they're trying to hold true to the original design but I don't know I, I feel like people would have preferred just a standard Indiglo here and of course I had to show footage of a side-by-side -side for all the other Timex reissues at least the ones that I own um, you can't deny that what they're doing here is very fun and just very cool looking 
So now that we talked a little bit about the watch, let's go ahead and go over my personal thoughts. Um, really bottom line up front, I think it's a great watch. I really do have a lot of fun with it. Um, it put a smile on my face the second I opened up the packaging. And I think I might actually keep the LCA. Being completely honest with you guys, I fully intended on returning the LCA. I kind of had buyer's remorse, so I set up the return. You know, I was just going to do a review on it, like a first impressions unboxing type thing. But once I got it, once I put it on, uh, it was so fun and it just put such a smile on my face that I'm definitely going to keep it. Now it's not all rainbows and butterflies here. You know, the water resistance leaves a lot to be desired. The backlight is absolutely horrendous. But if you're able to look past that and see that this isn't really designed for practical use, but more just a nod of respect to a simpler and better time, then I think you will also very quickly fall in love with the LCA. As far as overall quality goes, I have no complaints with a full metal case and bracelet. Um, it feels very solid. Obviously the finishing isn't going to be perfect. You've got a brushed finishing throughout the entire watch. And it does have a manufactured look, like a mass produced watch feel. However, overall I can't complain about the quality of materials. As far as style goes, this thing just oozes coolness. It really does bring you back to the 70s when being cool was just your standard MOA. Um, the dimensions are great for a watch enthusiast to really appreciate. However, the look is retro enough without being tacky to where your everyday person is just going to notice it on the wrist and it'll definitely start up the conversation. I mean, you can just see it through the screen here, but that's absolutely cool. The biggest complaint that I've read about online is the price. You know, is it really worth $149? Well, it depends on how you look at it. Is it worth $149 as far as practicality goes, as far as functions and features go? Absolutely not. Um, but some things you're not paying for because of functions and features. Sometimes you're paying for something that is just unquantifiable, um, such as style or nostalgia or overall coolness. And I think to that end, you know, obviously they could probably bring the price down, maybe $20, $30. But I think $149 is cheap enough for your average everyday person to be able to enjoy the watch. And um, I think the quality is also good enough to where you can easily justify that price tag. So that pretty much wraps it up. Um, those are my opinions on the LCA. I honestly thought when I first bought this watch that this was going to be a negative review or a negative video. Um, but once I got my hands on it, I, I completely understand. I drank the Timex Kool-Aid and this one, as far as all the other reissues go, this one is by far my favorite. So, you know, do I recommend it to you? Uh, I wouldn't recommend it to you if you're just looking for a practical everyday watch. However, if you're a collector like myself, you know, I say go for it. If you're not going to break the bank and you've you know, been really looking at this one, then go for it because you can't go wrong with having a timepiece just for, just for the joy of it. So that's who I would recommend this watch to. And that's all I got to say for now. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helps you with your next watch purchase. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later. All right, bye.